Hi everyone, it's Tolly with Crafty Mermaid Mom. I hope you guys are having a great day. Today I have a package to open and this package is from Pam Van E. And you guys, let me tell you what this is. I actually already know what's in here because I was the winner, you guys. I was the winner of a 100 subscriber giveaway by Pam Van E. And let me tell you, first of all, I received this last week. I had to look at this box and it was tempting me all week. I wanted to open it so bad, but I couldn't because I didn't have the time. My, you know, I work full time, like I've told you guys before, and my schedule's really hectic. So Pam, I'm so sorry and I'm, finally getting to open it. I'm so excited. First of all, I wanted to congratulate Pam because now she's way over 100 subscribers and um, I'm so happy for her. And um, I wanted to thank her for, you know, sending this and also show you her package. It's so cute. And I can't even tell if this is her writing or if this is a stamp because it is just so cute. So do you guys see on the package it says, thank you, Mr. Postman? Isn't that so cute? And then over here it says, kindly delivered to and then it has a little sender i don't know that could be her writing and then look you guys it says over here created with love plus sweat and tears i love that okay so i'm gonna go ahead and open this up so you guys can see the amazing work by pam and I, like i said i cannot wait to see how this looks in person wrap this up really nicely okay okay let me go ahead and oh okay let me go ahead and read her card thank you again Pam I was just so excited to open this okay you guys let me um let me read this really quick Thank you, Pam. All right, you guys, let me open this before I open the book because I want, oh, look how pretty. Can you guys see how pretty is that? Oh my gosh, that is gorgeous. Okay, so um, look at how cute. So look at her wrap, you guys. She's used, it looks like cheesecloth or gauze. No, not cheesecloth. It looks like, like a gauze. I love it. I love how she made use of this. So creative. Look at this little tag, how cute. Look at her cute shaker tag and she's actually used her sewing machine to make this. Isn't that pretty? Look at all the beautiful sequins. So cute, I love it. And you guys, I have a sewing machine. I need to get it out and use it. You know, I, I've i had it and I just, you know, I just never take the time to, to bring it out and I really should. Okay, this looks like a stamp. Ooh, okay, let's see. Oh wow, you guys, look at how cute. So it's a graphic 45 stamp. I think she did, I think she did mention this would be included and I totally forgot, but look at how beautiful that is. So it's a fairy and then there's a stamp that says once upon a time, uh, once upon a springtime. And then look at the cute little bird. And then look, you guys, look at all the mice. Isn't that so, so adorable? Oh my gosh, I love it. I absolutely love it. Okay, so here's the book. I'm gonna go ahead and open it, but before I open it, look at how beautiful her decoration is. Isn't that beautiful? Gosh, that is so beautiful. And she's even stuck a little feather in here. Okay, you guys, almost there. So excited. Oh my gosh, so you guys, let me tell you why. I am so excited about this. I grew up on Mother Mother Goose books and this just brings me back to my childhood. Look at how beautiful that is, you guys. Like I said, this so brings me back to my childhood and I just love all of the um, nursery rhymes and all of the um, the stories that come in the Mother Goose books. 
Oh my gosh, so beautiful. So you can see she's used a graphic 45 paper, but look at how beautiful this is. So can you guys see the front page? Look at, so over here, you've got Mother Goose and look at these wings. She has, I don't know if it's stickle, if it's glitter, but it is gorgeous. And then look at what she's done here too with a Humpty Dumpty. <laughs> He's got like a layer of like a shiny coat on him and it's just so, so pretty. I just love it. So then it's got the twinkle, twinkle little star um, poem on here. And then it says, when she wanted to wander, would ride, Mother Goose, when she wanted to wander, would ride through the air on a very fine gander. That is so pretty. And then it's, here's the twinkle, twinkle little star again. Oh my gosh. And Twinkle Twinkle Little Star was one of the first uh, poems or little nursery rhymes that my eldest daughter learned. So I just cannot wait to show this to the girls. They are gonna love this. Okay, and then here's the first page and look at that. So she has created a little pocket with a tag here. And then you guys look at this tag. Isn't that so pretty? And she's also, it looks like she's, I don't know if she's sewn this or if she, she ran this through, um, if this is a dye. It could very well be a dye, but it's so pretty. And she's also um, distressed the edges. And then look at this. So, Mary Mary, quite contrary. And then look at this flower and all the cute little Mother Goose stamps. Isn't that cute? So that's what she's made her little belt with. I don't know what you call this, but it holds the tag. And then she's created a pocket with more tags over here. And this says bedtime story. So this is a pocket as well, you guys. Let me see, yep, it's a pocket. And so this, I think, was supposed to go in here. This is another tag. It says bedtime stories with more of the stamps at the bottom. So you could actually tuck this in here. Isn't that cute? Look how cute that goes together. I mean, the blue and the black, it just stands out. And then over here, more tags. I love that she's included so many tags. So this is the Mary Mary Quite Contrary, and then another beautiful tag. And then look at this page. And then she's got another belt over here that holds the tags. I love that. And then look at this. So cute, it's a pumpkin. It's a little pumpkin with that matches all the other pumpkins in the picture. And then, oh, this is so cute. So this is like a little side pocket that she's created with more tags, you guys. And I love the colors in this. And then let me show you before I show you the tags. Look at this beautiful postcard. Isn't that gorgeous? Love that. And I love this vintage, you know? It's just so, so, so pretty. Okay, so here's another tag, and I love these tags. I'm definitely gonna be able to use these. And I don't know that I wanna use these. I think I wanna keep these in this book. It's just too pretty. The postcard, so pretty. Okay, keep that in there. And then here's, a, here's the next page, and look at how cute. Look at these photo mats, or just photo cards, postcards. Mother Goose, five cents, isn't that cute? I love this large size stamp. Look at that. And then look at another one of the Mary Mary Quite Contraries. Oh, it's so pretty. And then look at that. She's got Mother Goose in here again. Isn't that pretty? Okay, next page. Ooh, look at that. Okay, so look at this one is a flip. And it says, hey, diddle, diddle. The cat and the fiddle. I forget, you guys, I forget my nursery rhymes, but I think it was, hey, diddle, diddle, the cat and the fiddle, the cow jumped over the moon, something like that, but oh my gosh. Isn't that pretty? And then over here, look at, she's added these flowers, and then look at, um, Mary, Mary, quite contrary. Look at that, so pretty. Another tag, and oh, this comes out. Look at how cute that is. Everything just, can slip in and out. I love that. And then look at this page. Look at how gorgeous this is, you guys. Wow, that is so pretty. And it's another flip, wow. Oh, it's Humpty Dumpty. How cute is this paper? That is so cute. Oh my gosh, I love this paper. Look at the color, look at the greens and the yellows. Isn't this so pretty? Love that. And then look at this right here. 
here's the Humpty Dumpty um, poem. So pretty. And I think this opens too. Yeah, it does. Oh my goodness. Look at that. This is very interactive. So I can either, I can even put pictures here if I wanted to, but I love how she utilized these little pieces of um, ephemera to make them like the little notches. So pretty. Love that. I love those colors. And then this next page, I've got Mary had a little lamb and look at these. Oh my gosh, you guys, look how beautiful these are. These postcard pictures are just gorgeous. And then this one right here, the Rockabye Baby. So, so cute. Love that. And look at, look at this pretty flower too. She's done a great job of layering too, you guys. Like this is layered so beautifully. Like all of the colors that she layered are just so gorgeous. Okay, I think this one in here. See, I'm even like losing where all the pockets are because they're so hidden. So fun. Okay, and then here, Mother Goose. Mary had a little lamb. And look at how pretty that is. And then she's added a tab over here and these go right underneath here so pretty and then another little pocket and then this is twinkle twinkle little star and then a bedtime story so cute oh my gosh this is so pretty you guys wow okay and this is a deep pocket in here so let me show you this first look at that it says good night and it's also the twinkle twinkle poem written all over this paper and look at this. Let me move these aside because I want you guys to see this book. Look at how cute. So, oh, it's a little tiny book. How cute. So this is a notebook that she has made using the paper. How cute. So it's got a few blank pages that I can journal in. How cute. Okay, and then look at this. He's like looking at the star. <laughs> Isn't that cute? It's a little boy looking at the star. So cute. All right, another pocket, you guys, and with the flags. Look at how cute that is. Little flags, and then poor Humpty Dumpty. He's falling off the wall again. Cute. So cute. You guys, I wonder, I always wondered, thought of all of these nursery rhymes, because some of them don't make sense to me. But I mean, they were very catchy, right? Like, they were pretty, um, interesting back when I was growing up. All right, look at bedtime stories and then look at this beautiful tag. I just love these. These, like I said, these bring back so many memories for me. You know what we used to own? We used to have those, they're not encyclopedias, they were child craft books, but you know, we would get those and my mom and dad, I think they're really expensive, but we had them for years and there was one book that I love so much. So one of the books was all fairy tales and it had all of these nursery rhymes in there and I loved it because it was so colorful. I loved the pictures and that's why when I'm looking at this, it just brings back so many memories. Wow, and then here's, here's another flip. That's really pretty. I love these, the colors of this paper. This is like so gorgeous, you know, graphic 45 paper. It's so beautiful. And then she has just made it even more beautiful by how she layered everything. It's just amazing and look at it. So I don't know if this was like a cutout or a die, but if she has fussy cut this out, she did a great job. And then look at this. Wow, look at this little pocket here. Isn't that pretty? I love that. And then look, she's added a bag in here. It says, Little Boy Blue. Come blow your horn, right? Okay. Mother Goose. So oh, cute. I love these. Gosh. This set is so beautiful. And now I have it in this book. So pretty. Oh my gosh. This is so gorgeous, you guys. And look at this. This flower is crocheted. Isn't that so pretty? I wonder if she made that herself. Okay, and then look at this. It says bedtime story and I've got another pocket and more tags or more photo mats or cards. So cute, love that. She has done such a great job of putting this all together. It's beautiful. Okay, that is it, but look at, so look at her trims. 
Her trims match all of the colors of this paper and this book so perfectly too. I love it. It's perfect. And then let me see where this was. because I think I pulled these out of here. So I'm gonna have to go through this book again a couple more times just to be able to really see every detail in this because I know I probably missed you know, a few details. There's just so much to it and it's just so beautiful. And I'm just so excited that, you know, I was the winner of this beautiful book. And I just want to thank Pam Van E again. Sweetie, thank you so much for, you know, having this 100 subscriber giveaway. I'm so blessed to have one and I'm so happy. So um, you guys, please check out Pam Van E. I will link her YouTube channel below. Please tell her I sent you and please show her some love. Thank you guys so much. And I really hope you enjoyed this video. I really enjoyed flipping through this beautiful book with all of you. So you guys have a wonderful week and I will talk with you soon. Bye.